Oh boy, an original blend from House of Paris Corner. That doesn't happen very often. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Intellectual Sense. My name is Dip Cho. Now in today's video, we will be reviewing House of Paris Corner. Now this house generally makes clones, but their autobiography line uh, is mostly their niche line. And sometimes they do create an original blend. And today's fragrance of Oh Boy is an original blend. Now at this price range of 13.99 for 50 ml, generally you don't see very original blends coming through. So it's a rarity. So let's start the review with the presentation first. Let's start the presentation. Now if you look into the box, it's a green box with autobiography and the name of the perfume Oh Boy. It's 50 ml with EDP concentration. At the back, uh, the ingredients are give, given and the hologram. And at the bottom, you see the batch code and it's made in UAE. So it's a UAE blend. And as soon as you open up the box, you see the bottle. Now, this bottle is very simplistic bottle. Uh, the, there is a sticker of autobiography with Oh Boy. The cap is a bit tacky, I will say. It's not uh, like it does the job, I will say, but it's a bit tacky. Like it's all fake, the fake plastic kind of thing is there, which is okay at this price point. There's nothing at the back or the bottom. And if you look into the sprayer, sprayer is very good. So good sprayer in general, it's a decent presentation, I will say. I will give it 8 out of 10 on overall score. So let's start the review with the note breakdown first. Now, as soon as you spray this particular perfume, you smell a sweet citrusy lemon candy kind of scent profile like the lemon candy has been freshly made and it's it's very enjoyable opening but just like any other perfume opening is like a book cover where you should not judge the book by the book cover so it only lasts for only few minutes like five to ten minutes and then the citrusy part totally goes away as the citrusy part goes away uh, it smells more floral and more sweet uh, but the lemon part has totally gone away there is no lemon or citrus part which I am smelling in the mid base of it now the good part of this this whole scent profile till now is that it's projecting very heavy like when I was testing this particular fragrance people two feet away were able to smell me like what I was wearing so it's a kind of a projection beast also now in the base which is the part which lasts the longest what you smell is more amber accord coming into the picture now that amber is enveloped by white musk and patchouli now these two particular notes are called fixative in perfumery where they are used to fix a perfume the whole note conquer combination it's fixed by you know notes like uh, white musk uh, patchouli sandalwood also these are called fixative in the in perfumery and they have been used very well in this particular perfume now what's happening with this whole scent profile in the base is that it's very dry also it's not sweet like it was there in the opening the opening was more enjoyable the base I will say is not you will not get compliments on this particular fragrance that's what I will say about it now this last good 10 hours so like I said it's a projection monster and it's last a long time also you can call it a beast mode fragrance also but it's not a fragrance which will get you compliment like I said because of the dryness in the base which I was smelling in total it lasted close to 10 hours and on my clothes it was lasting more than 24 hours what happened was that I wore this particular perfume to office and the, that day I was not able to come home and I had to stay at my brother's place and next day when I went to office and I wore the same shirt I was able to smell this particular perfume loud and clear so it was lasting more than 24 hours on my clothes very easily. So what's my overall thought on this particular perfume? Now there are certain aspects of this particular perfume I totally like, like the value to money. It's only 30.99 for 50 ml and with it being a beast mode fragrance and lasting above 10 hours on skin and above 24 hours on clothes, it's a great value for money. There are certain aspects of this, this particular perfume which I did not like. like it's more synthetic than natural especially in the base and also like I said uh, 
it's not a fragrance which will get you compliment. In fact, when I wore this particular fragrance, uh, you know, there were people who were saying, this does not smell so great. So I, I got that kind of uh, feedback on this particular fragrance. So that's the, the drawback of this particular perfume. But it's a unique blend. It's a unique blend at this price point, which lasts a long, long time. So that's a good part of this particular fragrance. It's also a very masculine fragrance also. I don't expect a woman to be wearing this kind of perfume and it's good for fall and winter. So for upcoming time frame, if you're looking for a beast mode fragrance, then this is a good fragrance to you know go for. Now, the other aspect is that, is this an original blend? Some people were saying this smell like uh, under the lemon tree, totally wrong. It do does not smell like that. And also Lolita, Lolita Limpica Green Lover. That's the other fragrance people were comparing uh, this particular fragrance. I can clearly say, no, it doesn't smell like that. So in my opinion, this is kind of a unique blend which Paris Corner has created. So if you're looking for a beast mode fragrance, then totally go for it. If you're looking for a compliment uh, fragrance, then this is not the fragrance. You should check out the video which I have done recently where I've highlighted 10 fragrances which gets you compliment. So guys, this is my overall thought on this particular fragrance. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Cheers.